I think it takes time. I, d I d honestly do think it takes time. I think um, if you, we, we've won three out of the last five games, which is really positive for us. Um, and that gets people talking, so that's a positive thing. Um, I think what we will benefit from and what we have been benefiting from is the wave of positivity around female sport in general. And that's really important um, that, that we stick together as female athletes, as female leaders within sport. And not just that, but we, we're getting more and more male advocates for, for the female game as well, which is vitally important. Can you learn then a lot from how women's football has grown over the past few years? There, there are certain things we can learn from football, especially, I think, around about how um, you have to grow that talent pool and where uh, the responsibility lies with us as a governing body to support the clubs to be able to do that. So I think it's taken, uh, footballers are getting there now. We see Rangers and Celtic all of a sudden driving forward. Um, Netball have a, a professional franchise in, in the, the Sirens, something that we have aspirations for. I, I would love it that a young girl watching us play in the Six Nations could in five, six, seven, eight years' time be a professional rugby player in Scotland. In terms of the senior team, Six Nations coming up very soon, you've got a fairly new coach involved. How, how have preparations been? Over the last two years we've been building uh, the resilience of the players, so increasing the training load that they can take. So Philip's come in and he's inherited a team where the, physically we're in the best shape we've ever been. So for him it's just then about applying those principles that he has from them in terms of his knowledge of, of female athletes specifically, but also what it takes to, to win in these, these, these kind of tournaments. If we're going to qualify for the World Cup, we're going to have to probably do things we haven't done before. The Six Nations is fantastic, but all of this is about building towards that point because the World Cup in New Zealand in 2021 is really something that the players... Um, are striving towards. There's excitement around the possibility of getting there and, and that's, that's really what Philip's charged with is to qualify us for that. And finally, personally for you, how much has your life changed when you've changed sport and changed job? Yeah, massively. Um, I think two years ago today I was still football training because I, I still wanted to, to feel that buzz and um, I haven't played a game of 11 aside in two years now, which is crazy. It seems like yesterday. I always wondered whether or not it was the right decision um, and for me absolutely it was the right decision. I've learned so much. I've made loads of mistakes, I'll probably continue to, but I've learned lots and um, I think that I've got a great team around me and I'm really positive about the future.